Rumors point to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 bringing Fortnite to Android on August 9th on its Impact event. It looks like if Apple is ready to fully jump the ship from Qualcomm to Intel modems, and we're kind of worried about that. And it's Black Friday at Best Buy. Yeah, I know. The dates are off, but it's Black Friday at Best Buy. I'm Jaime Rivera, and definitely thank you so much for your support to the Spanish channel. Again, you can subscribe and hit that bell icon. We are trying to get you videos every day in Spanish as well. This is Paganel Daily. The official news today begin with deals because uh, Best Buy has Black Friday in July, their new deal that's actually exclusive to only Best Buy members. So for those of you that don't have one, the, just getting the account is free online. Go for it. There are a ton of deals, particularly with Apple products. You can learn more about everything in the description. Now, let's talk about Samsung. We've been covering the rumors of the Galaxy X foldable smartphone since, I don't know, since forever, since this show exists. Now we've got rumors that there are up to four variants. We heard the Galaxy X was probably going to be for gamers. Now we hear that that's probably true, that there is also a Galaxy F, F for foldable, for everybody else. And then we also hear that the Chinese market might get other variants, like the R and the P. Stay tuned. That's actually going to be very, very interesting. And since we're talking Samsung, one of our major complaints with the Galaxy Note line, hint, there is an after the buzz coming very soon on the Note 8. It's battery life, honestly. I mean, it's not that it's terrible, but it's not great for a portable notepad. And that's the whole purpose of the Note line. The company is teasing that uh, you'll have great battery life on the Galaxy Note 9. And hey, we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, which on its own is great, in addition to a possible larger battery at 4,000 milliamp hours. Let's just hope that all that UI and operating system deliver. And since we talked about Qualcomm, we've got some drama going on because I am the type of person that really does not like Intel modems on iPhones, mainly because of the, the terrible performance. It's bad battery life. It doesn't connect to cell towers as good. There was even a study from Ookla recently published. Now we hear that uh, Apple has made it official. They will focus on Intel modems going forward and are ditching Qualcomm. Yeah, I I am really worried about this. I hope Intel has figured their stuff out because it's just, it's. I wish you, if you haven't tested the difference, it is just so dramatic, but we'll see what happens. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 once again and Fortnite. We were expecting for this game to launch on Android today. I was looking forward to it. Now we hear rumors that there is an exclusive deal between Epic Games and Samsung with the launch of the Galaxy Note 9. We even hear that Ninja is going to be there announcing the game. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't like exclusive deals because obviously everybody else is not going to take advantage of this and we don't know for how long. But in today's question, let us know. What do you think? I mean, do you like the fact that Fortnite is going to probably launch exclusively? Would you prefer it to launch on every platform? I think that question and answer is obvious, uh, but definitely as well. Well, will Fortnite make you buy a Galaxy Note 9 if they said they'll hold it for six months? Because in my case, ooh, yeah, I think I probably would. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels in English and Spanish for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.